Uh, yeah, I've got news how YouTube is censoring people. By, by the way, I haven't even gotten into that. I haven't even gotten into our own uh, censorship here. Now, I do have the parent company, Google, of YouTube, admittedly working for the federal government and spying on people through the cameras and microphones in your computer. Oh, they now publicly are admitting uh, something that was only in their uh, prospectus put out to shareholders uh, five years ago, that they are watching you in live time. But don't worry, a computer's doing it, so it's okay. And then sending reports back, or that Tom Tom is tracking everywhere you go and giving it to the police without a warrant. Or Apple's going to track what you videotape with your camera on your on your uh, smart mini computer known as a phone. Uh, again, I've because I'm an extremist. I, I, I'm telling you about this stuff and warning you. And being informed is evil. Being involved in reality is evil. Uh, you individually get up every morning and form a conspiracy with your wife or husband about what time are you coming home today? Do I need to go to the store? Or do you need to go to the store? Who's going to pick the, the uh, children up from uh, swim team? Who's going to pick them up from football? But see, you conspire. You mean That just means talking to each other and working a plan out. Only individuals do that. Sure, your, your, your car dealership may conspire for a good advertising campaign and a good shtick or a good, uh, good uh, pitch. You know, uh, the best pitch is, uh, is a good deal, uh, is the truth. You conspire to, to, to make money. But big mega corporations that run everything and are cunning and super intelligent and hire all the smartest people and lobby and, and finance government for policies they want. Oh, I'm sorry, that would be a conspiracy. None of that exists. There's no lobbying, no special interest. Everything is fine, okay? All right, good. I'm glad we're not extremists now. Because I, I, I met with some of the biggest radio executives in the country last week when I was the keynote speaker at Talkers, and Sean Hannity was there, and Limbaugh's been the past keynote speaker, and people like that. And, and they said, well, Alex, um, you are uh, gaining three or four stations a week, and, and you'll be at 150 stations soon. You're at 120-something, and a lot of them are big stations. You do get high ratings. But you've got this label of an extremist. And I, and I just point blank said, I am sorry I have that label. I, I uh, how do I change that? Do I, uh, do I embrace the TSA, grabbing men's genitals and squeezing them hard? Is that how I uh, do it? Because there's a reason we have 116 million views on one of my eight YouTube channels. I have a total of over 300 million views. You can, you can go look at it just on one platform. Justin TV, we had three days of reporting from Bilderberg, never used it, new account. We had a test account years ago. It was on the test account. The test account had a few hundred thousand views, but 3.5 million extra views in three days on an account we ever used. I wonder why everybody's tuning in. I wonder why we have millions of visitors to the sites every day. I wonder why the Drudge Report links to us two or three times a week, the biggest website in the world. I wonder why uh, we're getting all these radio stations. I guess it's because I'm an extremist. I actually spend hours reading financial news every day. I actually spend hours interviewing the top experts every day. I actually go out and get top historians and top quantum mechanics physicists. I, 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 I'm obsessed with knowledge and information. I, I, I sit here and cover common sense. I, I'm an extremist. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to admit to you right now here on air that I am so extreme that I actually know the Bill of Rights Constitution. I've actually read the Constitution many times. I've actually read literature. I've uh, read uh, For Whom the Bell Tolls. I've, I've read Kurt Vonnegut. and even got a loving letter from Kurt Vonnegut and a painting he did for me individually right before he died. But he's an extremist too, though, I forgot. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm one of these people who is a problem. You see, it's, it's extreme when you see Obama give out 2,000 waivers to companies, some of them with over half a million employees like, like McDonald's, where they don't have to get any insurance and keep paying folks $6 an hour or whatever minimum wage is, six fifty now. And then at my company with people paid $16 up to $50 an hour, 
they none of them want insurance. I've said, you want me to get insurance? They say, no, no, we'll, we'll make the decision ourselves. I'm sorry. The government says I got to start getting ready to take part of the money out of your paycheck, and then I'm going to match it. So instead of $16 an hour, you're going to get $10 an hour. But you're going to have the insurance. And see, it's extreme for them to then say, well, why, why do these thousands of other companies that are special interest, they don't have to get it? They don't have to buy insurance. Well, you know what? Let's not intellectually think about that hypocrisy or that corruption. There I go again. I was just an extremist right there. Right there. I just did it again. I keep doing this over and over and over again. I, just, I should accept the hypocrisy and the and the crime, the 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 mafia unfair trade advantage. Huh, there I go using the actual legal terms of racketeering. Extreme, extreme, extreme. I should not be upset by that. I, I mean, obviously, it's good that people that have contributed to the Democratic Party and Obama. Uh, should be given public waivers. Of course, it's illegal to have fundraisers at the White House. Bill Clinton got in trouble for that, but Obama does it publicly. But see, only an extremist would know that was illegal. So I apologize um, for that. So I, I guess at the end of the day, I need to learn to be sorry for what I've done. I need to learn to, to be more reasonable. I mean, big deal. If I fly some pot-bellied guy and a bunch of them have been caught being pedophiles, some probably pedophile person is going to want to stick their hands down my daughter's pants. It's happened to my employees, men trying to go in babies' diapers and, and, and grab their genitals. See, I shouldn't be extreme. I should think that's completely normal. But you know what? I still am old-fashioned, and I guess that's my problem. And I guess I shouldn't be mad about in the last few years. My Austin power bill has basically doubled, and they admit that Austin's taken on carbon taxing. Other cities are doing it as well because the U.N. can't get the feds to do it. That is the Congress, the elected government. So they've got Obama doing it. It turns out the head of his economic panel, his economic board, his economic council there, that's the proper name of it. The economic council is the former head of General Electric who has himself hundreds of millions of dollars of stock in it and the shareholders that were one of his biggest contributors, that they have waivers from all the new EPA regulations that Congress wouldn't pass, but stroke of the pen, law of the land, kind of cool. I mean, who needs actual laws? That the uh, big uh, uh, GE coal power plants, and 52% of our power comes from coal, they're exempt. But you know what? That's reasonable. That General Electric, the day it went into effect, Obama signed the waiver on their hundreds of plants and plants they build and manage. See, you, 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 oh, your plant's going to be shut down as the head of the Energy Department announced a few months ago in the Wall Street Journal. Don't worry. You don't have a General Electric plant. You just go hire them and pay them protection money, and then you can keep your plant open <laughs> and just pass the cost on to your uh, users, to your customers. And again, it just came to me during the segment. I'm an extremist. <laughs> I apologize to all of you. That's reasonable. In fact, the mafia is good.